I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. This is the 11th video in the 30 days of Databricks series. I highly recommend you to watch the previous videos before starting this because there are some practicalities like how to start the cluster and how to attach the cluster into the notebook and so on, right? By the end of this video, you can create a good looking dashboard out of Databricks notebook. As soon as you finish coding, you can just create a dashboard out of it so that you can present it to your colleagues. Let's get started. What we will be going through here is first we will load the sample data and then we will view a data frame out of it. We run SQL queries, visualize the data frame and create the dashboard out of it. And then we have dashboard with widget enabled. Let me run the sales now, shift enter. And then we need to load the data, right? how to load the data i'm using spark to load the data and i'm using databricks data sets i'm reading the data here and i will provide this notebook in the github of 30 days of databricks so you can just follow along with me here and the link will be in the description of this video i have explained what each of these dodge so you can go through later in your free time but yeah, we are loading the data here. Once the data is being loaded, we need to view the data frame. We read CSV files and that is now a, a PySpark SQL data frame. And now we have stored that into the data, right? So data is our data frame now, right? What we can do is we can just use different uh, methods here. We can say data.tech and if I run data.tech, then it will give me the 10 uh, data from this particular data frame by the way i'm using percentage python here because i'm working on the sql notebook if i was working on the python then i don't need to provide percentage python right so you can work in any of the notebooks whatever you want so the same thing can be also achieved with display right so display data it will display the data but in a good looking uh, table right so if you want to know what is the schema you can just provide print schema and it will provide the schema for us this 2014 right it says here 2014 rank so that is the integer city is string and so on let's say that you are confused okay what is this uh, display and what is this data dot take kind of things what you can do is i have mentioned this before also but in the notebooks you can just provide data dot take and just two question marks so it will show you the documentation then you know that okay what is this particular thing doing here the same thing can be achieved for display also you can just provide display question mark and then it will provide everything here for, for you from the source code right that's fine uh, that is just the normal things now how to run sql queries from that data frame right first you need to create table or view here i'm creating the view meaning that from PySpark data frame we can create the view or the table so that we can start using sql on top of that here i'm saying data dot create or replace temp view and i am giving the name here data underscore geo this is just we create the temporary view now we have data as a data frame and we have data underscore geo as our table or view in this case now we can use the normal sql things and as you can see here i don't need to provide percentage sql because i'm working on the sql notebook now i will just run this particular shell select state code state code column and 2015 median uh, sales price is from here from data zero right so it is providing the table for us right so now how can we visualize the data and create the dashboard that is the main part of this video. I can just say display data. I hope you remember some time ago, I mentioned that display is powerful thing. It helps us to display the data. We can create the data profile, visualizations and many things. This is the normal behavior data here. So now you, you might be wondering where does this data profile as well as visualizations come from, right? I have already created this with this plus icon. If you go to this plus icon here, you can create the visualizations and then the data profile. So what is data profile? Quickly, you know that which column in this particular data are numerical features as well as categorical features and how many data is missing, what is the mean median and all the different things. That is the data profile, right? And we can create the visualizations also already from this display data. 
here I have created one visualizations. As you can see here, this is state in X axis and 2015 median sales price in the Y axis. And similarly in visualization 2, I have created state code and count 2015 median sales price. How did I create this? Is if you go to the plus as I said before, and if you click this visualizations, you will see a new window here. Here you can choose different uh, visualization type. So line plot, bar plot, area, whatever you want to do. And then you can choose X column, Y columns, you can group by or even do the stacking, whatever you want to do or normalize the values to percentage. So you can choose anything you want based on your particular data. I have already created this. I will say, are you sure you want to close the editor without saving? Yes, because I already have two visualizations here. Okay, so now you are done with data visualizations. You know what are the missing values and what are the different things, right? Now, let's say that you want to present this in a dashboard to some of your colleagues. How can you do that, right? That is the main part here. So let's say that I want to go to the table and I want to show the table to my friends as a dashboard, right? What you can do is if you go to this table, there is this add to dashboard. So if I click this add to dashboard and add to dashboard, it will create in a new uh, browser tab here. As you can see here, it created a uh, dashboard for me. And I want to attach this dashboard, this particular data frame in the dashboard. I can give the name of the dashboard. Let's say that this is, for example, for now, test dashboard right i can say enter and i can view the notebook which is being attached to this particular dashboard i can present the dashboard so there is stack and float different things that you can choose from here and what is the let me see here what is the dashboard width you can change from the from here right let me just keep it as it is now so you can remove all the graphs as well as delete this dashboard Right? you can delete the dashboard now yeah this is how you can create the dashboard but this is just one right if i want to add more visualizations what i can do is go back to the notebook let's say that i want to add visualizations one right i go to this drop down add to dashboard and i can say test dashboard that's there now if you go here there is this test dashboard and let's say that i want to go and i want to add these visualizations too i go here test dashboard and here is the visualizations you can modify this like let's say that you want to bring it here and if you double click it will come to the side and let's say that you want to put this one here you can just drag and drop wherever you want to put it this is great right now let's say that what if you want to select the data based on the widget already in the dashboard right let's see how we can achieve that if i go back here is the widgets in the dashboard I hope you know how to create the widget. Let me go here. I will run the data again for you because this is already being created on the top of this notebook. And now I'm creating these distinct values. I have already shown this in my widgets video. Why? Because I want these values to be in the widget. Now I'm creating a widget here. Data DB utils widgets drop down, right? So I'm giving the name. I'm giving the default value as Alabama and then I provide the distinct values list and this is a drop down right I can run this and it is going to create a drop down as it is shown here now it created a drop down here I can also pass the widget value using the get command if you go to the dashboard now you can see that there is already a widget being shown here. Let's say that you have three different things, but let's say that I want to filter the data based on the dashboard and show another a table here, right? So for that, what I can do is data.filter column state. And then I say that, okay, DB utils widget filter data, right? If I run this, now we can filter this based on the value from the dropdown. Let's say that I want to create Georgia it is filtered based on Georgia let's say that I want to filter based on Kansas it is filtered based on Kansas right now I can add this uh, table into the dashboard right for that you can just go here add to dashboard test dashboard if you go to the dashboard now we have a data or the table it is being shown in the dashboard right so I can make it smaller so it fits here 
and what we can do now is if I go to this drop down and if I choose New Jersey as you can see here this particular table refreshed based on the drop down value here and other just remains the same because that is not attached to that particular widget right so yeah that is how you can now just change it here i'm just showing you one example here but what you can do is for all these different visualizations you can enable the widgets and whenever you change from this drop down all these things will be changed here automatically you can present the dashboard now as you can see here it is presented you have the name here you have the drop down and when presenting you can just change this to something and this table is being refreshed based on that that's really good right but now let's say that you are presenting something and let's say or assume that the data is being refreshed in the background right what you can do is just update here what happens if i update let's click the update here so you can see all the sales that are running this particular uh, dashboard will be refreshed and as you can see there is this sign that is saying that it is running behind the scene this is really good if you are presenting something and the data is refreshed let's say in a minute or seconds it it, it will show the refresh data when you present that is how it works you can exit from here that's it let's say that you don't want the uh, widgets you can just click this and it's already gone from here because when i run the refresh things it automatically removes from here right in the dashboard also it's not here because when i click this update there it actually already went through all the way down here and run this particular sale also so to avoid this what you could have done is create a new shell here let's say i want to go with the python and i can say db utils book dot exit and i can provide some value okay success so that when i run this it will not go to the next line let's let's do the same right now let's go to the notebook part here and if i just go to the present dashboard and if i update this let's see what happens there should be a widget also shown here and we can filter based on that right let's wait when that okay as you can see here there is now and if i go here and just change it this data will be refreshed and the last one is not around here because we exited this from this particular cell i have explained this in my previous video also but you get the idea and this is really good in this scenario where you are presenting something and you don't want some of the sales to run when you present right okay that's all for this video i hope you learned something new today Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.